that you have given us this privilege to call the Abba Father, O Master, and to claim ourselves as the King of Kings, as the daughter, sons and daughters of the King of Kings, O Lord. What a privilege, O Lord. Even as we worship you, O Lord, I pray that every, O Master, or Jesus, praise offerings be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Jesus, as your word says, O Master, they praise me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Lord, let it not be us, O Master. Lord, I pray that you cleanse our hearts, O Master. Lord, please cleanse our hearts. Make us pure and holy, O Lord. Lord, we humble ourselves. It's not our talent. It's not our, Lord Jesus, our wisdom. It's not our knowledge, O Lord. Lord, we humble ourselves at your presence. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Every song that we sing, every word that we praise you, Lord, let it be a sweet aroma in your presence, O Lord. Lord, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we wash ourselves, O Master, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, O Master. With the precious blood of Jesus Christ, from head to toe, Lord, cleanse us, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and Lord, renew a right spirit within me, O Lord. Just like Psalmist David says, O Master, he who has clean hands can only worship the Lord, a clean heart, O Master. Lord, even now, O Lord, I pray that you, Jesus, we hide behind you, Jesus, that we may be able, O Master, to come into the throne of God, O Master. Thank you, Jesus, for this privilege. It's so simple to love you. And I thank you, Jesus, for me making it accessible to each one of us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, even as we sing these songs, I pray that you enjoy the worship, O oh Master. Everything we give it into your hands. To you be the glory, honor, power, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Even as we sing the first song, King of Kings, it's a song you know, that says, in the darkness, we were waiting without hope and without light. And Jesus is our hope. When, we, when all of hope was lost, right? When everything was grim around us, it was Jesus who made a way for us to come boldly to the throne of God, right? We, when we read back in the Old Testament, all the sacrifices that had to be done, day after day, amount of, you know, the animals that were slaughtered, he made it so simple for us that all that we have to do is, you know, say, Jesus, you know, please come into my heart and that's it, you know? It's nothing, I don't have to offer a sacrifice. He doesn't require anything of us, you know? You have to do this, 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 nothing, right? There's no checklist. In today's world that we live in, everything requires a prerequisite, right? Whether it is like, you know, whether it's a job, whether it is anything that we have to go, always requires certain standards that we have to keep up in order to fulfill. But when we come before God, He just says, you know, come as you are, right? And He never judges us, right? For whatever we have done through this week, He never judges us. The moment we come and we say, Abba, Father, He just, you know, receives us just as we are. He never condemns us, right? That's the beauty of Jesus. He says there's no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. What a big relief it is, right? Every time when we have to do, when we think about the things that we have done, if we would have to be judged, my goodness, I don't think we'd ever be able to stand before God, right? At home, right? The things that people judge us for. But God says, I'm not going to judge you at all. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And that's such a big relief. I really don't have to worry about anybody's standards because he has considered that I am worthy, right? He accepts me just as I am, right? And that's a beautiful thing. We were without hope and without light. And God came to us. He came running to us and he gave us, he gave himself for us that we may be able to, you know, call him our Father. Please do join us as we sing the song, King of Kings. <coughs> We were waiting without hope, without light, till from heaven you came running. There was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets to a virgin king. The world from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt.
so good that you know he sent his holy spirit to upon each and every one of us that we should be called the children of god uh, i thank the lord for the privilege that he has given us to be called the children of god you know it is a privilege that he has poured out his holy spirit upon each and every one of us you know and he gave it so freely like you know the word of god says to whomever whoever asks you know if you are if your child you earthly fathers if your child asks Will you give them, you know, if he asks for a uh, fish, will he give him a stone, you know? And the Heavenly Father has given us that, you know, that uh, he has given us his Holy Spirit that we should be called the children of God. You know, he is so good. He is so good all the time. Even as we, even as we sing the song, uh, come rest on us. It is the Lord Almighty. It is without, without God, we can do nothing in our lives. And it is always his Holy Spirit. He said, I am going to the Father and I'm going to give you a Holy Spirit who shall lead you into all truth. And the Holy Spirit, he's our comforter. He's our counselor. Each one of us, right? We are, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. It says every step, each day of our lives, it is very important that, you know, that our steps be ordered of God. When it is ordered of God, we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about what the economy says. We don't have to worry about, you know, what our neighbors say. We don't have to worry about what the world dictates because we live by God's standards. And God says, you know, I've got you covered, right? And it is the Holy Spirit who is our comforter, counselor. You know, he's the Prince of Peace. There's so much of chaos, right? Every day that we that we are in this world, so many things keep bombarding at us, right? The things that we see on television, the, the things that we hear from our, you know, people at work. Everything's so negative, right? But we are guarded because of the Holy Spirit who always comforts us. He encourages us with his words, his words of promise. And even as we sing this song, you know, come rest on us. When the Holy Spirit rests on us and when we are dependent on him, he so loves that, you know, he so is, he loves that we are dependent on him and we are waiting on him and he's always there to help. He says, there's nothing too hard for the Lord, right? There is nothing that is too hard for the Lord. He says, come to me, all you are weary and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. And when we go to the Father, God Almighty, when we go to the Holy Spirit, he gives us rest. Even as we sing this song, let's ask the Holy Spirit to come and rest on us. This is 
reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 95. This is a psalm which is a call to worship and obedience. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. 
it is shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people who go astray in their hearts, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Thanks be to God for his wonderful words. Praise the Lord. It's such a beautiful psalm, you know. Come, let us worship the Lord. It is a call to worship the Lord. You know, he created the heavens and the earth. He made all the heavens, right? He made the heavens and the seas and the birds and everything that is in it. And he calls us to worship along with, you know, all of all of creation, all of the heavenly hosts, all of heavenly hosts saying, holy, 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 you know, Lord God Almighty, 24 bars. And he's given us also the privilege to join along with all of creation and worship the Lord. God is good all the time. Even as we sing the you know uh, song, Lord, I give you my heart. It is a heart, it is a time of having to surrender to the Lord as an act of worship, you know, surrendering to the Lord our hearts, giving coming down to the you know to the throne of God, coming down to the cross of the you know, for where He had paid the price for us and He had made it possible. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful time. Even as an act of worship, let us bow before the Lord God our maker. You know, the, the, all the elders lay their crowns at the feet of Jesus every time, you know, in heaven. It's 24 bars and then they, the elders lay their crowns at the feet of Jesus. Even now as we worship the Lord as an act of surrender, let's bow down before the Lord God our maker. For it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pastures. And it is he is our shepherd and we, we shall not want anything, anything in life. He has provided it all. Even now, let us bow before the Lord God, our maker, and thank him for the privilege that he has given for us to worship him and adore him. Desire to honor. 